I'm Corporal Aaron Lucas. Um, my hometown is Sulphur Springs, Texas, and my job description is CH-53 Echo Crew Chief. I didn't really know what I wanted to do after high school. I didn't want to go to college yet, and I felt like the Marine Corps could help me build some confidence. And then once I got the CH-53 or the air crew contract, uh, it was a done deal. So I joined. I've been with 464 since January of this year. Uh, day to day, we show up at about like six in the morning to drop boxes and get ATAFT. After that, we do a FOD walk to make sure there's no FOD, foreign object debris on the airfield. Once that's over with, we go back to our individual shops and get kicked off to our individual jobs. And then at the end of the day, we'll come back in ATAF again and then uh, plan for the next day. And ATAF is in all tools accounted for. So we make sure that everything that we bring out to our jobs is also brought back in so that they can't damage the aircraft. When I got to my schoolhouse, I didn't really know what, anything about platforms, but when I heard about the Echo, it seemed like the most versatile aircraft on the, uh, out of the options. And then I ended up getting a contract for that and only that, so it kind of worked out. But uh, I wanted Echoes out of all of them, so I'm happy. Uh, benefits us by letting us deal with extreme kind of situations. Uh, our squadron benefits from having to maintain a uh, steady schedule of flying nights and days consistently so the maintainers can get a good practice of coming out here every day and uh, working on fewer aircraft than we're used to and also uh, getting them ready for the night goes by uh, any means necessary as long as it's safe. And uh, we get to work with MARSOC too and do cooperations at night. So it's good for everyone, crew chiefs and mechs and alike. Well, at the end of the day, that's what we're supposed to do. I mean, we can go out and fly uh, familiarization flights by ourselves all day, but at the end of the day, I feel like our job is to pick up Marine Corps, like infantry units and stuff like that, cargo, and take them where they need to be. So we can't do that without like infantry or you know any other units that we uh, move around so it's extremely important in my eyes. Uh, the Echo is really versatile we can our main purpose is taking on uh, groups of people and then dropping them off in uh, hostile environments quick and fast and easy. We can defend ourselves with our GAL-21s and uh, we're very maneuverable in uh, extreme situations so we can be somewhere and not be there very quickly and then we can also externally lift cargo if need be to uh, help them with any of their extra stuff that they need mo moved around. Uh, since coming to Raven uh, I've got to shoot the GAU-21 and operate that uh, a few times so definitely increase my uh, resourcefulness on that and I've also got to uh, take it on packs more often. We don't get to do that much as home, so getting able to get experience with packs on my bird, and uh, especially guys like Marsoc, and having extreme like uh, missions with them, it really helps build my confidence to be able to do something like that when the time comes, if it should come. Mission accomplishment, I feel like the crew chiefs are one of the most important jobs for everyone. I mean, obviously maintainers fix the birds, but we're right in that boat, we're maintainers too. And then when the birds go out, we're, we're like the voice in the back of the pilot's head reassuring them that things are okay because they're doing a lot of stuff up front. They're trying to see a lot of stuff. And in the back, we're, uh, we're just backing them up on everything, calls, uh, troops. Uh, we're responsible for getting MARSOC in the back of the helicopter and out of it and also getting them into zones w safely. And should there be a threat, uh, it's our job to neutralize them or suppress them from the MARSOC guys. So I feel like crew chiefs are really important for this exercise. At New River, you get really used to the environment around there. You'll do uh, terrain flight routes that uh, you do every single day. So it's not really a surprise. Um, and not just getting used to like the environment over there, but uh, you're not really doing anything new. So you're not getting better. Uh, versus going out to like say a place like SLTE in California in 29 Palms where you're landing with like dust and sand coming up. It's a completely different environment. Like not everywhere in the world looks like Jacksonville, North Carolina. So 
it's good to get out here and get like different looks at different environments for uh, how we fly out here. Um, mainly what I've seen a lot is the trees. They're really like different. They go up and down like waves almost. So it's weird when you're going in a turf environment and you're watching these trees come up and down. You really have to be on your toes for the pilots if they're getting too low. And there's a lot of cool zones around here with lots of landmarks, so it helps with navigation a lot, and we get to practice stuff like that. And uh, most of the zones are really different. There's lots of weird trees and stuff for us to practice on landing and uh, having our CRM up with that. So it's, uh, it's good. It's just new zones that we've never seen before, so we get to practice with them. Well, at the end of the day, if you're coming into a zone with guys and the enemy attacks you, it's your job to suppress. So if you can't load your weapon or do the procedures for the gal when it messes up, uh, at the end of the day, you're a liability to your crew and everyone on that helicopter. So I feel like it's one of the most important things for a crew chief to know how the gal works and how to fix it if it breaks in flight. Uh, when we're coming into the zone, we want to be in and out of there pretty quick. We're a really big helicopter, but we're not a lot more maneuverable than most people think. So if we can get into a zone uh, without the enemy knowing what's going on, we can be in and out of there before they realize what's happening, all the better. So we practice that. We come in pretty fast, we land quick, and we get our guys off quick so we can get out of there. And then same if we're coming back to pick them up.